Call me Neoblade, and this is the staircase step four for the beautiful Zerg, or the ugly creep spreading Zerg, whatever you like. And first of all, we'll talk about a solid build order. As you can see, this guy, Hydro Cyber Zerg, has 17 drones at 4 minutes. I checked out pressure builds versus Snoot and versus Dark, like the famous double medivac drop, two racks into double medivac drop. Snoot has 41 drones at 4 minutes and Dark has 38. So if you choose a solid build order, please take a look at the drones at the 3 minute mark and the 4 minute mark and try to match those of a pro gamer. Only the drones, um, you do not have to scout as much as they do, um, but you can scout the front, which we'll, we'll talk about later, and you have to get drones as much as possible. Or as Loco would say, you should build drones, as much drones as you possibly can without dying. His build order does not make sense at all. We'll just show it and you should not improvise such a build order. And if you're bronze or silver, I strongly recommend you take a look at a solid build order and try to copy the first 30 supply, not more, 30 supply, not more. And this guy takes a second gas, but does not use it. We'll just fast forward. Perhaps he was afraid I would steal his gas. He gets early link speed and he reduces his gas to zero, which is good. A solid build order should do this as well, but he scouts the front with two zerklings and then nothing happens. He gets overmans, he gets over gas and he does not build drones. So this is it for the first part. I will now show um, a replay powered by the Grandmaster Rail Gun, I think. And even though it's a pressure build, we will see more drones at the 4 minute mark than 17. Thanks very much. See you in the next part. Welcome to the next part. And again, I show not a solid build order, or it's an invalid not valid build order. Two overlords into gas into pool. And you will see this build order won't be able to produce 38 or 41 drones at 4 minutes. Just fast forward. And we'll see the four minute mark now. And again, we have only 17 drones. We have an expansion up and running. The other guy did not have an expansion, but 17 drones at the four minute mark is way. Uh, uh, you, it's too few drones. It's not too many, way too few drones, way too few drones, I want to say. Um, and the Protoss is way ahead in worker supply. So now we will see um, uh, um, a Grandmaster Zerg, and I see you on the next part.
Welcome to the next part. This is Grandmaster Railgun. I hope. Oh, he killed a larva. This is not a solid build order. <laughs> uh, you never should kill larva. But it's a 12th pool. And I think. I can. It's a solid build order uh, if the lava wouldn't be killed. And I think you can um, write down the solid build order on your own. You just watch the supply, you watch the production, and write down on a notepad how the solid build order is played. And these six links are purely for um, scouting, uh, scouting purposes. You want probably to kill a probe or two, and he has to pull drones or pull probes. But of course, a high master Protoss should not die to six zerklings, and he's getting a third hatchery behind it. He's getting speed. He shades back. And he scouts the unit composition. He scouts how the wall is built. Is there a very, very early stargate? And stuff like that. Is there an expansion? And it's good for scouting this build order. And the 17 drones or 18 drones are reached at 2 minutes and 54 seconds. So you can reproduce this build order. You can use the links for the mental checklist. And you can scout with it very good. And you should build drones, 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 if you do not see heavy aggression. He could use an overlord to scout this building, Twilight Council. But Glaive Push is very, very common in these, uh, in these kinds of leaks. And this high leaks. And we'll stop at four minutes. Thirty three drones. Not seventeen, thirty three. Since it's not an econom economic opening like Snoot and Dark did, um, he does not have. 38 drones, but he can scout a lot. So if you have problems with scouting or learning the mental checklist, you can easily try to execute such a build order. Thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next part. This is the next part, and this is a very old multitasking tr trainer called NeoMT Proberto Deprecated, formerly known as NeoMT Proberto LOTV. I play a solid build order. I think I play 17, 17, 17. Yeah, 17 hatch, 17 gas. And there is a mistake, 18 pool. But the most important thing is I deactivate the production. You play on insane, so you have only 500 minerals to maneuver with and play your decent build order. I try to saturate two bases and then rescue this High Templar to this platform here. But you can choose any other multitasking channel you like where you can set the money to 500 or 600. 
because otherwise you won't train your build order, you won't be punished for overmits. And it's very, very important you stay below 350 minerals the first 30 or 40 supply. So there's not much to say. This is um, a preparation for the mental checklist. First you have to execute a build order correctly. You have to know the build order and then you can try to use the mental checklist to execute the build order correctly. And I will die to this nukes. Thanks very much and I see you on the next part. Welcome to the next part and this is the introduction for the mental checklist. <coughs> um, I execute the 12 pool very bad. Um, the 12 pool is played with a additional hatch at the natural at 1 minute and 20 seconds. I uh, have problems executing this, but I did not train this build order very often, but doesn't matter for the rules. First rule is solid build order. If you like triple edge before pool against Protoss, totally fine to play that. If you like a pressure build like this, totally fine. Important is spend your lava, get as many drones as you possibly can and keep your money below 350 minerals all the time. And you see the mental checklist, I attack here, I watch my links and I watch my queen and then I inject. Let's see how, yeah, very good inject, it's running and you have to check the queen, you have to check your lava while you attack and I get his hatchery and again I take a look at my links and I spend my lava very important to do so as I said next step is build drones I tried to snipe his queen here which was a major mistake because he killed me build drones keep your money low as I said in the first four minutes you should never get more than 350 minerals. Keep your money low. No supply blocks, very important to play a solid build order without supply blocks in the first 40 supply or even 60 supply and the mental checklist is about map vision. We'll see perfect examples of map vision in additional parts and additional replays, but spreading your overlords like this is a good way to start with map vision in a ZVZ. So let's just see how many drones I have at the four minute mark. I scout the front, very important step at the mental checklist too. And 4 minutes and we have only 19 drones, which is too bad. I built, uh, I lost my zerglings, so I had to rebuild them. This is a major mistake, I should not, should not have lost my zerglings and then these links all could have been drones. But since he has no expansion, I'm still quite good in the game. But this is a fail and these are not enough drones. Thanks for very, very much and I'll see you in the next part. Welcome to the next part. If you never tried the mental checklist, I strongly recommend using this, what I do now. Neo MT Proberto Ceres. You can search in the arcade on easy as Zerg. This map is very similar to Creep or Die, a map you should already know. But 
we won't focus on creep spread because creep spread in that mental checklist is done via minimap and minimap is difficult to learn and you should focus as much as possible on those on this Roberto here and you should check your drones I don't know if I built an overlord or not because I talked because I'm bad I built an overlord so I will have enough supply for the whole time so what should you try this is the stack is step 4 so we'll ba build mass roaches and I just this you should try to play a solid build order but since I messed up with the overlords already this won't be possible anymore I'm still in protoss mode I wanna try to send back my drone, which of course is impossible. And we won't do creep spread in this first stage of the mental checklist. So you see I use the minimap a lot. I will now use camera locations and I will test those camera locations, they work and we'll build a camera location there as well at the third base. You see my money gets high because my pool isn't done but I have plenty of money to go here to work. test it out and I will build a third hatchery which could be a problem on this map because the AI opponent will attack me with a few marines and now we can build queens and I built three queens I will build I will build three queens and I can jump to my pool and take a look at speed. I should build an overlord. We I will build two overlords. We require more minerals. And you always we should check your lava minerals. and you should always try to produce stuff from it. Queens are ready. And I miss the ready points. I see it here. I just do this. And now I can use the mental checklist to check for pro for lava. And I can use the mental checklist to check do I have energy or not. Since this would be my creep queen, but since we do not creep, because it's the first step, we'll just rapid fire inject, jump to the probe again, produce the larva, and I think we need a macratch. I check I jump to my probe, I check my checking of my injecting is bad let's try it again, checking let's build overlords check there's the queen energy We'll just jump right here. Oh, mistake. Send the overlord around. 
Check. And now we should build a roach warren. And I think I will have big problems. But I will build a few spine crawlers here. So my money is spent, but I forget about the checking. Queens. And you see, I cannot talk anymore because it's too much and I will build an additional hatch. Hot key. Do we have roaches? We will now let it die for a little bit. So we can build roaches. And we have to hotkey the Proverto again. Checking. Building roaches. Adding to a control group. Checking. We need additional queens. We need additional overlords. And again we need additional overlords. I will now get a little bit of static defense. And I will let the probe die again. Because I wanna concentrate on my injects and I will jump to the probe again. And I will build links because this is the only thing I can do. I need to transfer workers, I will. And this means I need an additional hatch. So I think you grasped the concept. I will do it one last time. Building overlords, just for the sake of argument. Checking three. Injecting. Jump to my probe. Building roaches. Adding to a control group. A move to death. Checking. Building roaches. Injecting. Jump to my third, rescue my overlords. Your probes are under Our forces are under attack. Checking, building roaches. More Injecting. Unacceptable command. Jumping to my probe. Checking, building roaches. Injecting. And I think you grasp the concept. Thank you very much and I see you in the next part. Welcome to the next part. This is multitasking and mental checklist. And I use Mineral cluster depleted. the Neo AI mod. You can just open every map and type in Neo. Oh my god, I'm too tired. Neo AI. Um, the, the Neo AI field. plays Our much are better under than the Blizzard AI. It expands. Oh, sorry. It expands a lot more. And now I have to move back. I'm sorry about that. Mineral field depleted. And we'll fast forward. So, I lost spine crawlers there, links there, and Outer playing Mutilus is been too difficult for me. Enemy in combat. But you can see Our are on under the attack. right hand side here that I try 
to control my muters. Mental checklist is about unit control too. I will take out the space, make a two prong attack. I attacked here with my mutalisks and I A moved my links to this map. You can see I have all links on this hotkey and all mutalisks on zero or circles flex. So I now have to Our forces are under attack. I do my injects. And we have met the enemy in while I'm sh looking here at my mutalisks, making micro with my mutalisks, I built 16 links. 16, not 60. I check my queens. But something like this should not happen. Evolution complete. I try to work on my creep spread. It nearly kills my queen. A creep tumor is under attack. I forgot about the spine crawlers. It's very, very important to build spine crawlers if you're in the early stages with mutas. So small Mineral attack groups depleted. won't kill you. Because your mutalisk should always be on the map, scouting, harassing and stuff like that. Our forces are under attack. We have met the enemy in combat. I tried to scout again with the changelings. But you would see scouting about changelings and creep spread in the following parts of this video. Our forces and are under attack. And again, I move, I A move my mutalisks and try to kill this nexus and I should... I should... We have met the enemy in combat. I have problems with the control group. With Our base selection. is under attack. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I have to reshow this. There was some kind of problem with the selection. Here it is the right way. So you see my egg hotkey drill works very good. Our base is under attack. I check my production. I will die now, but I know that, so I just show you the production. I inject. Our forces are under I check attack. my production. I now should We have met the enemy in combat. Our base is under attack. Fly away with my mutalisks. And then I should check my production again. Our forces Come are on, under attack. To check your production. And there I'm defeated. Um, I will show you again because of the bug I had with the selection. So not enough mineral cluster depleted. And you we can see the enemy in I combat. stay below a thousand minerals. Try to stay below nine hundred minerals all the time or eight hundred. I take the next expansion and I fly around with my mutalisks and there I check my production. Again Our I check my production. Are under attack. I check my queens. I attack and I check we my production. We have met the enemy in combat. I build stuff. I move my mutalisks around. I build stuff. And that's how you should train the mental checklist. Thank you very much. And I hope to see you in the next part. Welcome to the next part. This is an introduction for scouting. First and foremost, you will scout with a circling. You will scout the front. As you have seen in the previous parts of this video, you will use speed overlords to do so scout the front and see okay he's building a factory with an, an tech lab add-on of course in the stack has step 4 you can use mutalisks to harass and to scout the unit composition of the opponent does he has marines or medivacs or tors or all three of them just 
attack one worker and fly away again. Yep. I should not attack this. Then one of the most not used options is to use changelings. You can even um, put a changeling in your base. When you're in your main base and you sp have an overseer there, you can spawn a changeling and just move it across the map. You have to watch it so it will not be attacked um, as long as it has this... I don't know how it's called. Ah, now it's uh, a zealot. Um, but it's 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 like a... I don't know. You, you know this form where uh, it, it seems like somebody with two hands is moving across the map. I want to try it. Yeah, here it is. And then if he sees a structure, it will change to a marine zirkling or um, bur um, zealot. It's very fast to scout by himself, but you should always try this option as often as you can. And something you often see, but I think you rarely use, is borrow to block expansions. This is a nice way to do it, or of course you can just deny expansions with spreading creep. But this is a lot more effective because um, most people have to scan and oftentimes they will try to build a base and do not recognize at first there is a ling burrowed in the ground. These are some of the options you have to scout, but you will see um, in the next parts what you can do to scout further more and to gain map vision. Thanks very much and please bear with me. Welcome to the next part and this part is called scouting and map vision. I don't know which build order I play. Um, I played Triple H before pool in one of the matchups. Please remember to always have this overlord against random and other stuff. So if cannons or bunkers are placed near your hatch, you can see them. My opponent is Terran. And this is a very long game, so we'll just fast forward it. Use the mental checklist to scout the front, scout the frigging front. Yeah, I play a uh, all-in. The all-in fails, and normally I should be dead by then. But my opponent is afraid of me re-attacking again. It's a classic example of how you can train your multitasking using baneling busts. My creep spread is very bad in this game. You probably will... No, I think it's quite good. It's... Uh, of course it's not Grandmaster creep spread, but I think it will reach the middle of the map. So... My drones are very, very bad in this game. Again, this is all-in, or it was supposed to be an all-in, but it failed and my opponent did not do anything about it. The first thing you want to do is taking the watchtowers. It's very, very important to, s s uh, to use one link to get the watchtowers and the next thing you want to do is creep spread. So I move my queen here so I can creep spread through the middle 
I should rescue my overlords. And the next thing is that you have overlords in the drop route, so this is quite okay. Every medivac which would fly here is uh, should, would be safe, but overlords are missing in this area totally. And here are the overlords myth missing totally. But I see his liberators. I'm prepared with spark crawlers and enough queens. And these are three factors you should always keep in mind and always try to accomplish in every Zerg matchup where you do not play RLN, where you try to play macro or where a game lasts more than 8 minutes. You should try to creep spread as much as you can. You should try to spread overlords all over the map. And you should try to take the watchtowers. And that is it for this game. We'll see additional games where um, you see me using changelings to scout the opponent very well. Thank you very much and I see you guys next time. Welcome to the next part and this part is mainly about creep spread but we should see a dropship coming here. Come dropship, yeah. So I will go back to my vision. You see the drop is loading. This is VCS Gameheart, WCS Gameheart. Um, I have a scout link which spotted the drop and this overlord spotted the drop as well. I spot the roots, but I should have an overlord here and an overlord here. But this is the first time I played the new maps, which will come out soon. But I saw it and I retreat my drones using, um, using my camera locations. I have to make a little bit of noise, sorry. I lost my pool, very good by the Terran, but I lost zero drones Mineral field and he lost 13 marines and I think it's okay to trade a pool for 13 marines. So this is the most simple form of creep spreading with just one creep to more. If you never made creep spread this is totally fine but I strongly recommend using two in about 10 to 20 games and then one queen and so on. I spread it my overlords now, I scouted the front, I had a ling at the front and now I see the drop again, but I'm out of position. So this drop will do more damage. Very, very heavy damage. But again, this is about creep spread, and I should not forget to creep spread, even though he attacks me. I have taken down a base, so he is still at two bases. And my income is higher than his. But I should not have this much minerals. And I take down his I take down his uh, Medivex. Which again is good for me, but I lose too much. I've lost twenty probes uh, drones by now. And the hive cluster is under attack. I should build more drones. But my creep spread will reach his side of the map. 
and I really tried to focus on, on creep spread this game. So even if I would have lost the game, that it would be totally fine for me. I should not uh, waste banelings into a building. This was very, very bad. And I really should get banelings speed. <laughs> 12 minutes and no banelings speed. But you can see my creep spread reaches his side of the map. I really should retake the watchtowers. Mineral field depleted. And I think when the game is over, again, overlord spread so important. Creep spreading locations like this so important. And I see this base so I can immediately attack it. I tried in this game to spread one creep so um, on the left hand side so I can uh, build bases here. But this was not s successful because my I'm. It's very difficult for me to uh, make creep spread this good like this. This is very good creep spread for me. If you see Mamba, uh, Mamba would be here with his creep spread. He would here be here with his creep spread. It would take him no concentration at all because he's the grandmasters and a silver player like Mineral Twister field. cannot do something uh, where he gets in trouble. So I think you grasp the concept of scouting via creep spread, scouting via overlords, scouting via watchtowers which is very very important so you can deny your opponent's bases. Thanks very much and I see you guys next time. Welcome to the next part and this is a summary of what you should do as Dirk and try to um, watch your replays and try to take a look if you fulfill all the requirements for Zerg. Many people, if they play a, a Ling Bling Muta style, forget to creep spread at all. And since I've been uh, dropped very often on this map, I built overlords here. You can see here's a street of overlords. I should place two here, as well as this one here. And I cannot be dropped from this side either. And here is my creep spread helping me. And you should set yourself a goal where you reach the middle of the map. Of course, this is um, depending on the size of the map. But I told myself, okay, I try to be in the middle of the map at 10 minutes. And I think in both cases a new queen has emerged i have um reached this goal um playing ling bling was uh, enough um and i uh, was it was hard for me but i reached the goal our forces of are under attack getting my creep spread in the middle of the map at 10 minutes or 10:15 or stuff like that Thanks very much for listening and I see you in the next part. You have seen a replay powered by me Mutation and I played complete. versus Twister the Terran. And there were two paths with creep. Sequence you start with spawn, only one path. If you're very bad at creep spread only two creep tumors towards your opponent. But if you uh, wanna improve in creep spread, then you take two paths and one queen to creep all the time. And when you have a small map, you can train your creep spread even further. You can try to make your creep look like this. That's very, very important that your if you hit platinum or diamond that your creep spread looks like this. This way the opponent cannot attack you anymore 
Um, but this player lacks Overlord vision, and he should creep this uh, spread this area. But if two or three Overlords would be here in this area, I could not fly Maodevex towards him. But this is what your creep spread should look like, and he now moves his army, he scout the front and he always tries to spread his creep. Thanks very much and I see you guys in the next part. Welcome to the next part. This is called Punish Mistakes. If you have good scouting and good map vision your ability to scout mistakes and to punish mistakes will increase. And here is a good example. Most Protoss will build a wall, but this guy forgot that I play Zerg or he choose not to build a wall. And I built an economic opening hatch first to double queen. But now I see, okay, I can do heavy damage. Terrible, terrible damage. If I just build my circlings. And yeah, then I just move there. I built a third base. As at first as a macro hatch. And I just A move over the minimap. And there's the photon overcharge. And oh, workers oh, killed. Game is over in an instant. Just because I scouted the front and I punished mistakes. That's it, but we'll see additional replays too. See you guys. This is the next part. And it's a ZVZ. We'll just go fast through it. I think this guy did not build a spine crawler. I play ZVZ very aggressively. I try to do economic damage before the other Zerg has banelings. And again, I can tell his build order is a little bit strange, as I mentioned before here. Yeah. It's a macro hatch before he saturated on two bases and has two gas but does not mine from this gas. Yeah, play a solid build order. I can only strongly recommend that. I build a spine crawler because he probably can play mass links too or a link flat. I build a macratch because I need it for those many Zerg links. And my injects are not perfect. He has no spine crawler. I can kill his queen there. I punish two mistakes here. He has no spine crawler. His queen is out in the open. And I build in drones behind that. Because I know I do a lot of economic damage. And I can easily build the drones. But I also could build more Zerklings and just kill him. But the game is over anyway. Yeah, thank you very much. We'll jump right into the next replay. And we had this one. And this is probably one of the best um, scouting um, successes I ever had because I scout the front and I see he moves out 
with his salad and I can move in. But this guy would have lost anyway, even though he is a gold Protoss, because he has no um, he has no hotkeys. He uses no control groups and no hotkeys. Since chatting always distracts me, I ignore every uh, comment they make. And he plays a fake cannon rush? No, he plays a real cannon rush. But his ne cannons never get up. Again, the mental checklist helps a lot to deny cannon rushes and to deal with cheese and all ins. And you just have to get his probe. It's it's not very intelligent to build a cannon rush when the Zerg has the pool almost finished. And now I can scout the front. And I will slow down now. I'm not intending to kill him right away. These are eight Zerglings, as you can see. And he moves his zealots away. I don't know why. Major mistake. And I punish this mistake. I build drones. And I just show his vision. You can see he has no control groups. I use four at the moment. And I just kill workers. I know I will kill workers. I built my creep queen and the game is over. He realizes his mistake and I could show you the rest of the replay and yeah, he is what uh, it's a little bit complicated English or wrong English. He moved his salad away to move out with his probe to scout. Of um, he doesn't know about the mineral walk. He should have used that. Um, if you don't know mineral walk, please Google it. Very important in such situations. Um, and. You can play my Neo MT Micro Trainer. Neo MT is in the front, doesn't matter. You can search for Neo MT or for Micro Trainer. And yeah, I think if you have good scouting, you can punish mistakes. It's that easily. And of course, what you always can do, but I explained it in the stack as step 3, you can drop. In areas like this, or if he does not have a pylon here, you can drop here. Many ba in in many maps uh, have good places where you can drop with an overlord. Thank you very much, and I see you guys next time.